Maybe one day I'll do an episode just featuring this jacket and the many different ways you can style it. Now that that episode might mess around and be a a, 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 a hour long because I mean, look at it. It's 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 beautiful, but it's very simplistic. From Hollywood to Soho, we be wearing polo. Knockoffs is a no-no, that's just how we go though. You got it for the low low, it's probably US Polo. A Beverly Hills Polo, all of that is so-so. Interlocks and Chevrons, Cruise Navy and Lemon, Ralph Lauren Weron. I'm buying what you selling, Maui Pink and Melon. Tell them about that rustic. Greetings, and welcome to another edition of Seamless Style. Powered by Polo Ticks and Polaroid. I'm your host, Mr. Parker. All right, so we're inching closer to fall from a temperature and weather standpoint. It actually is already. Uh, we've already uh, passed the first day of fall officially. Um, but it's funny because it seems like as soon as that first day of fall hit, the highs dropped 15, 20 degrees. The mornings were those beautiful, crisp mornings. The evenings were, uh, you know, just great temperatures for, you know, if, if you're truly a fan of fall for, you know, maybe being outside for whatever reason, just enjoying a, 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 a better air quality just enjoying a, a drop in temperature so it's not it's not anywhere as near as muggy things of that nature um but as we do know when fall does uh when fall temperatures arrive it means uh different pieces come to the forefront you know we've all had shorts and short sleeves uh fabric wise linens uh, soft, lightweight cottons, things of that nature, uh, PK, uh, 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 mesh polo, things of that nature. That's been at our forefront for several months now. And if you're anything like me, you hated it then, you hate it to this day. But I digest. Now is the time for its rugby season. It's about to be sweater season. And depending on where you are and depending on what time of day you're talking about, you know, if you like me or down south, it's time to pull out those lightweights. It's time to pull out those lightweight jackets. Now, for outside, this might be a little bit heavy. This might be a, a little bit too layered what I'm wearing. Uh, at least down south. But if we lost the sweater and just went with the uh, the Oxford and the jacket, that's what time it is right now. So let's prepare, let's enjoy it, and let's get excited. So I'm going to do three rigs for you today. Plus the ensemble I'm wearing. We'll make four. And we'll go with the ensemble I'm wearing. I broke out the uh, the uh, Vachetta leather, pebbled leather chuckas. All right, I broke out the chuckas in the uh, in the brown. A pair of green cable knit socks, which obviously will complement the Aaron knit sweater. You know, Aaron knit by the lay person often gets mistaken for cable knit which is understandable visually aesthetically they are cousins they are first cousins no doubt about that uh anyway the chinos distressed and repaired they are a straight fit so they don't have a taper at the bottom but i'm okay with that because the way the way I choose to wear these and what I wear them with is fine, all right? Distressed and repaired with uh, different shades from 
from uh, other chinos. So the base of the chinos are sand, but they have some bolding khaki uh, patches. They have some uh, some some light some light sand, some very light sand uh, patches here, and they have some chambray patches. So you know, it's just a it's just a great aesthetic for some distressed and repaired chinos because they are truly superiorly distressed and repaired. All right, the sweater. Aaron knit. Mm, pardon me. Aaron knit. Polo written across the front. So you got your Green Bay Packers colors here. I'm not necessarily a Green Bay Packers fan. I am an Aaron Rodgers fan. And today they are playing the Tampa Bay uh, Suckaneers. And I'll always uh, be anti-Brady. So anytime they lose, I'm happy. I'm always rooting for the other team when it's against Brady. It could even be the Cowboys. I'm rooting for the Cowboys. That's how much I am anti-Brady. All right. Now, the Peace Day Resistance will be this denim baseball jacket. Polo spelled across the, the front. Same font as the Aaron Knit sweater. Baseball jacket style. Very lightweight. Denim, but it's lightweight. It's not, it's not a lot of layers to this at all. Very lightweight. Ribbed cuffs. Ribbed at the waist with your iconic navy and maize Michigan colors here. And I I, I could have went with no cap, but I really wanted a cap just to cap completely casual to look out. Uh I tried I, I did it with uh two double RL caps. One is denim and one is indigo. And they both look good, but I like this cap. I just like this cap better because I wanted to completely casual it out. I don't wear this cap that much, and it is a rare piece. It's hard to find, and when you do find it, a lot of times a vendor will want a buck fifty for it. Leather brim, navy based, uh, twill, leather leather strap in the back, which is hard to find with the uh, Equestrian Dry Goods uh, logo on the front. I went with a plaid Oxford with hue all fall hues. Uh, you got your you got your apple red, you got gold, you have green, you have navy, you have cream, and I went ahead just to whimsical it out. I went ahead and threw on a bow tie, foul yard bow tie. Obviously, with this, some of the same colors we're wearing here, and that completes the look. All right. So, without any further ado, man, let's get into this episode, man. Lightweights. Y'all ready? I knew you were. And guess what? Me too. Now, let's go. All right, so, this first ensemble features one of my favorite lightweight jackets. And I don't normally... I don't normally find myself bragging or anything like that, but um, I gotta be honest. This ensemble I put together, man. Whew. Yeah, it's like that. This ensemble is like that, man. So let's 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 just jump right into it, bro. Let's just jump right into the ensemble. We'll start at the bottom. Ah, uh, brown. Chocolate brown, leather, shanley loafers. Beautiful shine on them. I recently shined these up. You see the socks. The socks that are electric, electric yellow and royal blue. All right, you scroll up and we did a slim fit pair of college gray chinos. All right, slim fit, college gray, just a staple. Just a staple. That's all. Just an essential. If you if you have chinos in your wardrobe, college gray. Other than all all things all things khaki, college gray should be the next color that you go with, right? All right. I did the cable knit sweater vest that I think I wore last episode or episode before. I actually wore it, but I did I did the cable knit sweater vest again because I wanted to pull that yellow. 
out of this lightweight jacket and then it just kind of went crazy from there like it's it, it everything is coordinated it's not matchy matchy but yes i went a little nuts with the uh the uh yellow and royal blue and i and i'm and i'm not ashamed of it unapologetic about it as a matter of fact cable knit cardigan sweater vest in the yellow yellow and several hues of blue and white uh more of a window pane tatter saw combina combination i wouldn't call it plaid i would think of it more as a window pane or a tatter saw combination all right beautiful royal blue heralded almost rep stripe i guess you would call it rep stripe the stripe the white stripe is so thin but uh heralded tie man just beautiful just beautiful tie and then the piece of the resistance is this beautiful jacket here all right it's the pine lake polo ralph lauren uh baseball style jacket all right it's got the dual yellow stripes on the shoulders it's got r lauren on uh written next to the yellow striped kangaroo pockets okay it has a uh a button that comes with it uh the the winged foot achilles winged foot so that makes you think this is more so pine lake the uh academy more than it would be pine lake the uh reservation or resort or outdoor type of deal even though it has a moose head on the front and as you see on the back it's still more i think it's still more of a preparatory school type of deal okay just because of the uh achilles wing foot that comes with the jacket but man this is a fantastic fantastic ensemble this is a fantastic look and i'm definitely i'm definitely gonna wear this look very soon now this look is super preppy super preppy and i like it i like it a lot uh this look features a sateen uh varsity style jacket by rugby rock Lawn. all right this is not what I would say about this jacket is it has it has a large level of elegance in its simplicity. All right, this is a jacket that if you see it and the price for you is reasonable, you're gonna cop it just because there's unlimited things that you could do with this jacket. Unlimited, and maybe you know what? It's funny because maybe one day I'll do an episode just featuring this jacket and the many different ways you can style it now that that episode might mess around and be a uh an hour long because i mean look at it it's 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 beautiful but it's very simplistic all right but we'll start at the bottom and then we, when we get to the jacket we'll dive as deep as we can into the simplicity yet elegance of this jacket all right but we'll start at the bottom so previous previous rig was the shanley leather uh chocolates here is the brother, the Shanley suede snuff tassel loafers, all right? Just, I mean, just, you know, gorgeous in its simplicity. You see the socks, four, four basic food groups, four basic food groups of, uh, of varsity. The four basic food groups of varsity. Navy, green, yellow, and in this case, red, which is fine. That's fine, because you'll see why as we scroll up. So let's scroll up some more. Uh, basic sand slim fit chinos. It doesn't, it doesn't get any more preppy than the basic sand slim fit chinos. It, it gets no more preppy than that. Now, check out the belt. The belt has three of the four. It has college green, navy, and, and yellow. And that is because look at the layering piece. We broke out. One of the one of the all time faves of the collection, the Rugby Ralph Lauren Giant Griffin uh, color block rugby. All right, again Packers colors, green uh, green on one side, a beautiful yellow on the other side. Instead of a, instead of the white rugby collar, we have a yellow rugby collar. We have the 1934. Uh, crest here with all the banners and all just all the bells and whistles on that crest. A nine on the on the front patch and on the back. 
Just a beautiful, just a beautiful rugby, man. Just gorgeous. All right. Ah, uh, the reason the socks go well is because they match this bow tie to a T. Again, your four basic food groups of varsity. Navy, green, yellow, and this time red. The red works because of the giant red on the rugby shirt. And of course, the socks and the bow tie are a perfect match. Now the jacket. Beautiful satin, rugby Ralph Lauren, silver buttons here. Uh, baseball, baseball style neck in an off-white striped ribbed here at, at the uh, waist, ribbed on the sleeves. But then, it's, like I said, the elegance in its simplicity. All right, this beautiful, this beautiful lion and or griffin, rugby Ralph Lauren written in the banner with the crown overhead. Like it doesn't get any more simpler than that. But this jacket. This jacket speaks volumes when, when you put it together with an ensemble. Now, of course, you can dress it down. You can dress it up even more than this. But this jacket is going to make a statement regardless, regardless of how you style it. Now, for our last ensemble, I mean, I had a lot of options when it came to lightweight jackets. You know, and I said, well, shoot. I got a I got a rig that's not been featured with a new as far as my collection is concerned a new arrival. Why not feature it? It works. It works for the episode theme. Even though you guys have actually, you know, probably seen it quite a few times over the last couple of months because it's you know it, well not including our hiatus, but it's been in the background because as soon as I bought it and received it i tried it on it fit and then i wanted to style it so i did and it's been on this rig for a while but it's this piece here all right the shirt jacket again lightweight pieces lightweight jackets that's the theme and the operative word in shirt jacket is jacket all right so this works i always wanted this piece because like the uh sateen jacket in rugby it's beautiful in its simplicity, all right? There is nothing on the back. You don't need anything on the back. You've got the GB for Great Britain with the Union Jack flag on this patch here. And there's another, yeah, on the sleeve. There's a patch here on the sleeve, which you'll see, you'll see in the, uh, in the scroll. But, uh, like, this is just a beautiful, this, this shirt jacket just, for me, it gives me the feel of, uh, a great motorcycle mechanic in Liverpool working on a mo working on a motorbike or uh, fixing a Cooper, something of that nature. This this definitely gives me mechanic vibes, but I'm not a mechanic. I'm a Ralph Lauren guy, and so when I take pieces like this, I'm going to layer them and incorporate them and give them and give them some style. You know, make a vibe out of it. So let's start at the bottom. I went with the low cut bean boots. The low cut bean boots, right? Easy choice. Something nice. Something light. You know, as Tay Rock would say, something light. All right. Uh, I did the uh, navy and white striped socks. All right. So if you do get a glimpse of the socks, there's some coordination there with the uh, one of the layering pieces, all right? But scroll up, we have the Twill Slim Fit Camo Cargos, all right? Great, great option to pair with the uh, mainly brown-based low-cut bean boots, all right? Scroll up some more, and you see the England, the England rugby shirt, all right? This is a polo blue label piece, all right? England rugby shirt, great crest on it, first class division, 12 patch on the front and on the back, diamond quilted towards the top of your, to the, towards the collarbone on either side, blue and white stripe, England going across the front. Man, just a, just a dope pleat, just a dope rugby shirt to go up under this, this shirt jacket here because we stand in the UK, we stand in the United Kingdom. We have the England rugby, 
And then we have, again, like I said, the olive with the brown corduroy shirt jacket, all right? GB, Great Britain, Union Jack patch on your left chest. On your right sleeve, you had a PRL Riders Association. Again, it gives you that, that motorcycle feel. It gives you that motorcycle feel. The sleeve, the, the shoulders, I like the shoulders of this thing too because they're 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 double, they're reinforced. It almost looks like a giant, a giant epaulet, but if that's how you pronounce it, y'all one of y'all told me what the word was, but I think that's how you pronounce it. Epaulet or epaulet or whatever. But it looks like almost a giant one of those, but it just actually reinforced. So, you know, just but again, we talking Ralph Lauren. So the pieces that, how they look or the theme that they're based upon, you could actually, you know, you could actually wear this and work on motorcycles from, from eight to five, Monday through Friday. Like it, it's a shirt jacket. It's, it's, it's utility, it's utilitarian. It's just a beautiful, it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, as far as, you know, whatever the temperatures are when you throw something like this on, you may want to throw, throw a beanie on your head to buy or something like that or something of that nature. But you also could do a, a, a rugged looking uh, tam, baker's cap, driver. You could do something like that as long as it has a, a more rugged look to it and not, not too dressy or whatever. So definitely something in a tweed or even a corduroy. But uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a great look as well. You know, uh, super casual, but dressed up a little bit with the uh, with the uh, spread collar dress shirt and the heraldic red stripe tie in red and blue. Like this a winner. And that's another episode in the books. Today we did lightweights, lightweight jackets. You know what I mean? Lightweight pieces, layered them, but lightweight pieces nonetheless because depending on where you are, we're either in those temperatures or we're approaching them, all right? So I like this episode because, you know, I like to layer as much as I can, as often as I can. So this first month or so of fall is always a great time to experiment and show off new things. So lightweight, lightweight jackets, lightweight jackets are essential when it comes to the first month and a half, even two months of fall. Uh, what I'm drinking. Had to get back on my health kick, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Had to get back on my health kick. Had a couple of pieces in 34s. Uh, a couple of pieces in mediums that just wasn't fitting right anymore. And that's not going to do. That's not going to do. And plus, you know, just to be just full transparency. Uh, 50 is not 50 is not old enough for me. I'm not 50 yet. I'll be 50 in a couple months. But 50 is not old to me. And I really feel like I got so much I need to do. I need, a, 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 at minimum, at minimum, another 30 years on this planet. Knock on wood, God will. So I'm gonna do all I can to make sure that that happens, including coconut water, carrots, bananas, ginger, cinnamon. That's what this is right now. Uh, I'm big on the greens. I'm big on the green, uh, the green smoothies, the green drinks. Uh, kale, celery, cucumber, uh, a few apples. You know, the, 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 the trick is, as Dr. Sebi taught us, if we were listening, the trick is more, uh, more alkalines, less acid. More alkalines, less acid. That'll make you healthy, keep you healthy, and you will shed some pounds and keep them all you know, with minimum, with minimum exercise. I'm not huge on exercising. Walking, man, I walk from here. I walk from here to Queens. It's not. I don't mind walking at all. But when it comes to uh, going to the gym, getting on a treadmill, all that stuff, 
the trick is to get me there. If you get me there, I can, you know, I'm damn near a gym rat. I was an athlete in, in junior high and high school. But the trick now is to get me there. I don't be wanting to go because I'm not a people person. But I digest. So, but yeah, that's what that's what this is. That's what I'm all. Uh, it's funny, man. I've been I've been drinking at least one, sometimes two, and a sensible meal with. Uh, I've only had red meat once in a week. All right, because I'm trying to wean off of red meat as well. Um, it's funny though. I snuck and ate a cookie last night. Right, about maybe nine o'clock. I snuck and ate a cookie. And I got the biggest freaking headache that I've had in a long time. To the point I had to go to bed. That's why this is uploaded a little later than usual. Because I'm actually recording it today. I was going to record last night. I had the biggest freaking headache, dude. So it let me know two things. I mean, yes, it was painful. And I wasn't happy about the headache. But I was happy because it let me know two things. Uh, I'm on the right path of waning off of so much sugar. And it just means I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be able to stick around for that minimum 30 plus as long as I stick with this. And it's not for taste. I think, I think Shannon Sharp said it best. He, he hasn't eaten for taste in decades. He eats to live. So, I mean, and look at Shannon Sharp. He's in great shape. He doesn't look 53, 54 years old. And he's that guy. So if it works for him, it can work for me. And it can work for you. If that's something you're interested in. Also, I'm going to give my FUs out real quick. I want to send a huge FU to DJ Wackademics for the comment that he made about the uh, pioneers of hip-hop and them looking dusty and ain't having no money. See, that's what's wrong with you young bucks. You think money is the key. Money is important. That's how they, they, because they made it that way. And that's true. But you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the pioneers, DJ Wackademics. And I haven't liked you for a long time. And I've actually asked a few anonymous friends to, you know, uh, let me off the leash, bro. Let me off the leash. I, I give him the beating he needs. Because, and I'm, listen, I know, I'm a gentleman. We all gentlemen. I know, we ain't supposed to talk like that. But listen, here's the thing. If you're of a certain age, if you're around my age group, you know that a lot of the reasons that people are how they are is because they had that freedom of being behind the keyboard and they never, ever, ever in their life been punched in their face. See, the way I grew up, you knew you couldn't say certain things because there was consequences with it. And a lot of times that could be getting punched in your face. And that's not a good feeling. I've been punched in my face several times. That shit hurts. Okay. My other F you goes out to Malika Andrews, ESP. Listen, I'm just going to say it like this because I know there are a few ladies on here. And I know some of y'all. Damn near personal. If you want to be a feminist, be a feminist. I, I support it if you want to be a feminist. But when you decide to be a feminist and you decide to be one of those feminists that talks loud and don't say nothing and think you're going to disrespect men, solid men, it's, it, it's not going to It's not going to end well. It's not going to end well. And I say this to all feminists. You can be a feminist. You could even talk crazy to me. I ain't gonna touch you. But all feminists should recognize that a lot of men have aunts, daughters, girlfriends, wives, mamas, cousins that ain't feminists. And choose violence. So just... Like, just watch just watch your words, Malika Andrew. Just watch how you talk. Talking to people crazy ain't gonna get you nothing but sent packing somewhere. Like, chill, bro, with the mouth. Damn. 
anyway back to what we here for man we here for the fashion so get in the comment section and uh and just tell me um what you thought of the uh, ensembles today what you looking forward to is lightweight jackets like your 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 uh your summer shopping did you pick up any lightweight jackets if so what kind did you pick up you know and 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 how you plan on putting them together let's have a conversation all right hit that like hit that subscribe and tell a friend because we here some light some light artists paint pictures haters paint narratives so don't be no hater have a good one